A voiceover artist from Romania needs his voice processed with EQ, and we're going to optimize the sound of his voice. He's using an AKG C414 microphone, the XLS model, and he's using Adobe Audition. His name is Catalin Propescu, and I only know how to pronounce that because he actually says his name in the audio uh, file that he submitted. He says he's at an intermediate level when it comes to audio production, and let's take a listen to his voiceover audio file and see how we can optimize this with EQ. Hello, friend. My name is Catalin Popescu, and I'm from Romania. Very cool. Um, again, thank you guys so much for sending me these audio files. I love processing audio and, and teaching and sharing uh, my experience and knowledge about EQ and, and audio production. Uh, this actually sounds really good. I'm a fan of this microphone. I want to add it to my mic locker at some point. So um, a lot of the frequencies are well represented here. His room sounds pretty good. I do hear a little noise uh, in the high end. Um, and I'm wondering, it sounds like an electronic noise in, in part of his equipment. He does not state what uh, preamp or interface he's using, so I really can't uh, give any suggestions. But there must be some type of connection issue we've got going on. But we could still deal with it. Before we get started, uh, I just want you to know you can send me your voiceover for EQ processing uh, and the quality improvement suggestions I could make. I'm happy to do it. Uh, and you can see how I, I apply EQ on a voiceover to, to see if it can optimize your voice in your recording space on your mic. Um, if you're just getting started with EQ, I've got a free training course you can get by following the link in the description as well. Uh, all right, let's take a listen and uh, kind of walk through what we do here with uh, EQ. Hello, friend. My name is Catalin Pop. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of some of the low energy, which is the sub bass sound that's happening before. His voice starts here, and anything lower uh, is just noise that we don't need. Hello, friend. My name. So you still hear the bass. We just got rid of this uh, um, extra energy that the microphone is picking up because it's very sensitive. A couple reasons for that, because this could mess up some compression processing further down the, the road if you get into that. But it's always a good idea to get rid of that stuff first. Hello, friend. My name is Catalin Popescu. And we're going to find the first, um, the first uh, frequency, the dominant fundamental here. Hello, friend. My name is Catalin Popescu, and... That's around there somewhere. I'm going to even that out to be more equal with the uh, rest of the frequency space. Hello, friend. My name is Catalin Popescu, and I'm from Romania. And I'm just hearing uh, one more kind of a boxy thing going on here. Hello, friend. My name is Catalin Popescu, maybe, and maybe two, I'm from... Two little... Uh, pieces here we can deal with. Hello, friend. My name is Catalin Popescu, and I'm from Romania. I'm not ashamed to be from this country. Now, we've, we've um, evened out these uh, resonance peaks so they're more even with the rest of the voice frequencies, and it gives you a, a big, wide, equally represented frequency space uh, for the voice, which in turn is just is more pleasing when you're listening to it. So I think this is an improvement. Like I said, uh, if you listen, you can hear kind of a, a noise in the high end, and I could maybe try to remove a little bit of it, but I don't know. Hello, friend. My name is Catalin Popescu, and... I'm from Romania. It's not a deal breaker. I mean, it still is fine, but I would uh, it's something you could work on if you want to. Hello, friend. My name is Catalin Popescu. All right, what I'd like to do is kind of go back to the pre-EQ sound and the post-EQ sound and uh, and compare them and then fine-tune a little bit. That's really a good way to... Um, because you kind of when you're doing these minute little frequency adjustments, you can get hypnotized and lost. So uh, when you go back and forth, uh, they call it a being, um, and and reference the before and after EQ sound. It really helps. So here's before. Hello, friend. My name is Catalin Popescu. And after. And. I'm from Romania. What's uh, interesting is you don't really feel like you lose any volume. You don't lose any bass. It's just more clear, and that's uh, definitely the power 
of EQ. Uh, what do you think? I'd love to hear what your uh, your comments are. I'm happy to answer any questions in the comments section. Uh, it's really easy to submit your voice if you want to do this as well, and you could stay anonymous if you'd like. There's a submission link in the description. Any skill level is totally cool. That's how we all learn. Any microphone, just send us your submission. We'd love to hear it. If you want to start learning EQ and you like what you see here and, and feel like some of this can help you, I've got a free training that you can get by following the link in the description. This channel is all about improving your voiceovers. Let's make your voice sound better. Thanks for watching.